Welcome back everybody. Today we are here checking out Skylord Luke's progress on his station entry. There is, as you know, a competition and we're going to be taking a look at a couple of these. This one is very interesting. Do we know if this is a trade guild entry or...? I believe it was a trade guild entry uh, as, as demonstrated here by the blue striping as well. Uh, that's, that's one of the keys to the trade guild entries here. I will say, uh, one of my favorite things about this is because of the hangar, that's all organized. This one and mine look like they belong in the same universe, and that is fantastic. What's fantastic? Look at the stream. You're in the stream channel, like, bro. Wow. This is that. This is immense, mate. I'm, I'm really loving this. Let's take a look the inside this hangar. The have is phenomenal. Wow, much room. Well, who knows? Obviously, there's going to be a vote. And I think devs get final shout on based yep. on implementation bases. There's going to be five winners in each category. Oh. Did I just see logic? Mm -hmm. Logic. Tom is interested now. Something triggered. Whoa. Oh, I know what this is. Oh no, it's just the it's just the ray it's just the lighting. It's the new lighting. Oh wow, you can get out that way as well. Oh that is really cool. You can just fly in. Oh wow, he's even put the uh, the lifter in. Hang on, let's take a ride on the lifter. Hey, General. Oh, it looks like I've... Ha-ha! <laughs> I, I win. Okay, let's try this. Oh no, it's factioned, of course. Oh well. Oh, damn, I wasn't stood on it. Can you... Oh, there we go. Holy balls. These things go a bit faster now. This is actually worth having now. That thing was really fast, mate. That was actually fun. Hang on. Can I... Oh, I want to fall now. <laughs> yes! Oh, wow, this is a long elevator. Oh, wait, where the hell am I now? <laughs> Dude, I just keep finding more hangers. I love how much space this thing has. Well, I didn't, uh, I didn't see it. Do the uh, elevator blocks are different on the platform? Yeah, they, if you go all the way to the bottom, there's like more underneath. No, I mean, if you um, if you hit the platform, like, is, is it just the same white thingy, or...? Uh, it's, oh, it's, it gr it's grey, but damn, it's fast. Look at this thing go. This is more like it, mate. This is what you want from an elevator. Yeah, this is positively intense. I actually I mean, honest... want to make... I actually want... I actually want... Oh, damn. I'm really excited to uh, to see the completed interior on this. The, uh, oh, the main thing oh, no. that I love about it's it is going the shape. Slow again. It's just. Oh no! I think it was a bug because it's going slow again. Damn! I thought that was like a implemented change, <laughs> but actually it was just uh, keep on dreaming, Tom. He said, that don't look at the hangar. interior, though, so I feel bad. Woo! Yeah, but it's a it really was, fun it elevator. Was, that's the best, yeah. I love the elevator, Sky. <laughs> Go up the elevator and tab five, mate. Eh? <laughs> Go up the elevator and tab five right now. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. Oh, wait, yeah, doing it. I am super pumped to see the interior finished. Okay. It looks absolutely fantastic so far. 
You need more, you need more of the RNG bits. I think it's going fast again, you know. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. I've actually found a hanger. The Viper fits in. I swear I was reflecting off of it as well. I need to double check. Oh, yeah. No, it just looks like it. Oh, animating gift time. Looks better on video though. With the Dave shadow. That's great. Can you see the shadow? Can you see Dave? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Oh man, this is a keyboard twister. Don't ask where it's coming from. Oh. See on the server, it was running like it would never stop. Let's see if I can get a fourth finger in the mix. It's like playing Twister. God, this makes me want to be <laughs> See what else I like about this? When you align, you're in line with the hanger. That's actually a really nice addition because sometimes solutions are in a slightly different way. Yes! Whirlwind! <laughs> that is amazing. That's how we do it, son. That's how we do it. Yeah, move forward a bit. Where are you going back? I oh, know you're going back, aren't you? Yeah, you might want to try going in the opposite way. So if you oh. go back out. Okay, just for everyone watching move. right now, this is a tab 5 in the new dev build. It's demonstrating what happens when a block gets destroyed now in StarMade. So if a block gets destroyed, you get this. Instead of blocks falling off or just disappearing, you get shrapnel. Welcome to the world of shrapnel. And yes, I did just reload his ship, by the way. We haven't tried it with break as well yet. To be honest, this is better than break. Like, to be honest, this is what you want from break without actually having break. Yeah, you, right. it's like it's all the best parts of the graphical element without any of the lag that's generated from actually having it. 
Yeah. True. Yeah. What about collision damage? Uh, collision damage, I would imagine, is just going to make the blocks crunch like this. It probably would make more sense to have that. I really want to see that. Yeah. I think that would be awesome to see, like, the car crash type crunch. Right, what you want to do, Dal, is move up slightly and then rotate to the right. And now move left, straight left. Forward a bit, straight left. For whatever reason, uh, it's failing to go up my uh, inputs. Hmm. Well, I know that if you rotate to the right slightly, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. I think I'm right. legitimately stuck here. <laughs> what have you done? Reverse thrust. Yeah, the the Q and the Q and E buttons are not working. <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, I've broken loose. Yeah, keep going backwards. Just keep going backwards. Keep going, keep going. Ugh. I should be able to level up, mate. Oh, you are the best docking guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in. Success! Success! So you managed to get in. He's in. Congrats. Only a few paint flicks, eh? Yep. Thank you, thank you. We are we? I do birthday parties. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sort of wandering about. <laughs> it's the kind of station where you can do that. I love that. You just have this expansive area and you just, you just wonder what's going to be up there, what's going to be down there. It's like there's some seriously mystical sparkle dragons happening right now. It's Pop the Magic Dragon. It's, it's mystical sparkle, the magic mystical sparkle. <laughs> Really liking the clamps too. Oof. The clamps holding those wingy bits on her. Clamps? No, oh, not the clamps. Oh, Anything but the clamps. Oh, yeah. I understood that reference. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, very unorthodox shape, but really quite proud. And he's found an awesome location to build it in. I'm loving that purple eclipse. That was something I did not expect <laughs> to see. It's so neon. To be honest with you, the station kind of reminds me of some of the Halo. That's because he's heavily yeah, inspired. Yeah. He's heavily inspired by Halo. Yeah. It but yeah, it's me really nice. An original build, it is though. Awesome. Oh yeah, no. That's a beautiful awesome. Skylord. Yeah, it's Absolutely gorgeous. Done. I'm really excited to see this thing done. I mean, even though it's a station, it does have the, you know, the capability <laughs> of being a ship. <laughs> Honestly, so far, if it were up to me, I think this would be my boat. <laughs> I'd have this as a pirate station. I love the Halo. Yeah, station. I'd have it as a pirate <laughs> station as well. Pirate station. How man. many essence yeah. can you uh, get in there, man? <laughs> <laughs> Plenty. I'm gonna um, say 26. Pirate Guild says... Pirate. Please, guy, you, need, you need to get this done so we can start working on the pirate one together. I'm, I'm just saying. The pirate one. <laughs> <laughs> the bit at the bottom I think this looks a like a great one whatsoever. for a trading guild HQ. I would love to see this as, as an end game dungeon, if you will. Um, something that you shouldn't necessarily approach with hostile intent before, uh, <laughs> before reaching a certain point. Honestly, I, the balancing 
seriously it's up to the devs but i, I think that uh, if we're going to have different sizes and with five entries i assume we will you know not just necessarily the, the, the greatest the one that adds the most variety this would be a great boss stage maybe at, like what a puny little outfit <laughs> it, it's good though it's going to be nice to have that kind of variety we're going to small mediums larges and everything so we can actually scale that out. It would be interesting. The further you got away from spawn, the more likely you were able to uh, find something big like this. There it is. Skylord Luke's entry. So thanks very much for letting us take a look at that. Can't wait to see it finished. Thanks to everybody watching. And I'll see you all next time.